Before I begin my opening remarks, I would like to speak directly to those who lost loved ones on Lion Air Flight 610 and the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. What is it you get paid to do exactly? I get paid to run the Boeing company. We welcome our witnesses and my colleagues. And I would like to welcome in particular some of the members of the audience who are here today. Michael Stumo, Nadia Milleran, Adnan Stumo. They are the parents and brother of Samia Rose Stumo. If you want to stand, you're welcome to with your photographs. Also here are Chris Moore, Clarice Moore, and David Moore, the parents and brother of Danielle Moore. Zipporah Curia is here today. She's the daughter of Joseph Curia. Catherine Berte, she is the mother of Camille Berte. Abadu Amiha is also here. His wife, Sarah Gabre. Michael was the cabin supervisor on Ethiopia Flight 302. We remember them and the other 341 victims of the unspeakable tragedies that occurred when two airlines crashed in 2018, 2019. I also want to recognize the family of John Barnett, his mother Vicki Stokes and brother Rodney Barnett, a Boeing whistleblower who committed suicide under the immense pressure that the company put on him for raising safety claims. They are with us today. Before I begin my opening remarks, I would like to speak directly to those who lost loved ones on Lion Air Flight 610 and the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. I would like to apologize on behalf of all of our Boeing associates spread throughout the world, past and present, for your losses. The I apologize for the grief that we have caused. And I want you to know we are totally committed in your memory to work and focus on safety for as long as long as we're in the world. Let me ask you, Mr. Calhoun, have you heard that non-conforming parts are installed in any Boeing airplanes? We have a process, Senator, to ensure that no non-conforming part is uh, But in two an whistleblowers have told us that likely non-conforming, meaning damaged or defective parts, were installed, and at the very least, they were hidden from the FAA. Uh, Senator, I read that complaint this morning. Um, uh, I do know and had followed up that the speak up had been received in our system and that the quality team is, has been and is looking. So uh, more than happy to get back to you on that. I apologize. I'm personally not involved in it. I just saw it this morning. What is it that, that you get paid currently? Senator, that's... Uh, well disclosed in, in our proxy documents uh, in each of the years that I've been employed. Yeah, but what is it? It's a big number, sir. Well, let me help you out. It's 32.8 million this year. Does that sound right? Yes, it does. That's a 45% increase over last year. Does that sound right? Yes, it does. What is it you get paid to do exactly? I get paid to run the Boeing company. Yeah. So just help me understand that. I mean, do you get paid for transparency? Is that, is that part of, is that one of the metrics for your income? I think the board counts on me for transparency. Really? Because you're under investigation for falsifying 787 inspection records. The Boeing's under criminal investigation for the Alaska Airlines flight. You were investigated by, GOD, by DOJ for criminal conspiracy to defraud the FAA. This is all in your tenure. This doesn't sound like a lot of transparency to me. Um, what about uh, safety? Is that a component of your salary? It sure is, Senator. You know, have you seen the reports that the subcontractor that you use to make that 
door piece that fell out of the sky, that when the FAA went and toured the facility, they found one door seal being lubricated with Dawn liquid dish soap and cleaned with a wet cheesecloth, and another was being checked with a hotel room key card. Does that sound like safety to you? I want to turn to your, uh, the report to the FAA, uh, Mr. Calhoun, the, the plan of action uh, moving forward. There's not been a great deal of detail uh, of that plan shared, but in your comments uh, and testimony to the committee today, you highlight um, the, the, you say, and I quote, it's our people who are our greatest strengths. Um, I think any um, executive, CEO, person who's run a business, a small organization knows that it fundamentally is the people who make the company strong. Um, my colleague, um, Senator Hawley, was talking about your, how well you compensate. Um, the chairman raised issues uh, or concerns about um, are the people of your company seeing um, any accountability um, for behaviors that have led to us being uh, in this place? You said yourself that the people who you tasked with responding to um, the information requests from this committee are sitting in this room, but I think you would agree that they have failed. Uh, in representing the greatness of this American uh, company. Again, the goal, the goal here is to reassure the public that they feel safe to fly. Um, we want Boeing, we want the airline industry to succeed. So can one of you go through the entire quality and safety process and provides that assurance. I, I, I talked about all the players in that process, the, the suppliers, your manufacturing associates, your, your management, the FAA, which by the way, the F FAA has only turned 172 documents over this committee as well. They're, they're not exactly, uh, as is true in just about every government agency that I've tried to do oversight on, they're not very transparent. Uh, but the FAA, and then finally the, the airlines and, and their maintenance crews and, and the pilots, can you just kind of talk the way through that, you know, even, even if it's, even if Boeing doesn't reach perfection, you know, there, there are other steps beyond that to try and catch air. So that, go through that process, please. Uh, I'll start, I'll, I'll turn it over to, to Howard. Um, Alaska was a manufacturing defect. It created an unsafe airplane. Perfection is what our job is, and it has to be absolute. Um, we inspected every airplane that has that plug quickly. Uh, we know it was a single airplane. And as I said, for all of the media coverage of Boeing airplanes over the course of this year, I, I believe that was the only manufacturing defect that, that's related. Now, so what we do first is we close that down, period. We uh, we look at the value chain from the, from the delivery of the airplane all the way back through our supplier. And we take dramatic steps to make sure that at every step of that value chain, that door could never, never uh, leave the airplane in, in flight. To watch the entire hearing, visit our website at cspan.org.